An easy way to see how useful the brain can be is to show you uh, how a person looks in my brain. And uh, this is Michael Kolowich, uh, a person who used to attend PC Forum regularly way back when. Uh, and I really haven't seen him in a very long time. I will confess that I just went and looked him up a bit more online. So what I'm about to show you is more elaborate than your average person in my brain. But my goal here is to show you that a snapshot like this, a visual of a person, turns out to be a really quick way of figuring out um, a lot about them. So for example, uh, this is Michael Kolowich's Wikipedia page. If I click on this fav icon, it will launch my browser to his Wikipedia page. Uh, I am keeping separately a link to his LinkedIn page. Uh, I am keeping separately, as I do, this is what I do for a lot of people, this is his Twitter account. So again, if I click here, you'll see his Twitter, uh, Twitter stream. Then above, you'll see a bunch of things. In fact, a lot of things that say alumni. Uh, low tie is what Lotus alumni call themselves. So for example, here's Lotus Software, which was founded in 1982, sold Lotus 123. So here's Lotus Products. Uh, here's Domino. Actually, let's make that yellow so it stands out a little bit more. So here's Lotus products. Uh, here are companies that Lotus acquired over time. Uh, and in fact, Lotus was known for uh, Lotus Notes. And uh, I think it was Michael who, in fact, <clears throat> here we go, Lotus Notes, which was actually started by a little company uh, outside but uh, they, uh, Lotus cut a deal. Michael was the, the guy who signed the deal to bring Lotus into, to bring notes into Lotus. So let's go back to uh, Michael. So he is a Lotus alum, alumnus. He is also uh, started his life at uh, some TV stations. So WGBH and WBZ TV. So here's WBZ TV, a CBS affiliate in Boston, one of his first jobs. Uh, he spent some time at WGBH which is a public TV station, I believe, in Boston as well. So he's very much uh, from Boston, from the area. He was also, uh, after a while, a Common Angel, which is a group of uh, Boston area angels. Uh, like Lotai, this is actually kind of funny, um, ex-Bane people are called Baneys. So here's a bunch of ex-Bane people, uh, numbering among them, uh, well, let's go back to Michael for a second because one of the things he did that I, I don't see there as a connection was he created Mitt TV, which was part of the Romney for President campaign in 2008. And uh, Mitt Romney is also uh, a Baney. There he is. Oh, because I wasn't looking under Willard, uh, his actual first name. That's why I couldn't see Mitt Romney when I looked at Baneys. So Michael also spent some time at AT&T, and then he founded a couple companies. So Dig Innovations in 2001, uh, a video production company. He also founded a, a company called News Edge. He was the president of Individual Inc. for a while, uh, but maybe most recently, uh, Knowledge Vision Systems, which uh, was founded in 2010, uh, which has a product called Novio. They let you do video editing online and a series of other things like that. Um, what am I missing? He uh, was the founding editor of PC Computing Magazine, a Ziff Davis publication, which was a computer magazine that competed with Macworld, PC Magazine, PC World, things like that. So as you can see, this is just a person. Oh, he's also a pilot. I forgot to mention that. And I've got here, uh, you know, I don't know everybody who's a pilot, but for example, Jim Fallows, the uh, managing editor of The Atlantic Magazine. Uh, is a pilot and has done a bunch of things around flying around the country. So here's Jim and Deb uh, fly the U.S. from 2015 into 2016 and then write a series of articles, in fact, publish a book, Our Towns, a 100,000 mile journey into the heart of America in 2018. So this to see how useful it is to have context around people. I'm getting more from this than I get from uh, Kalawich's Wikipedia page or his LinkedIn page or looking at his Twitter feed. And in other cases, for example, I can tell where I first met them, where I ran into them again, things of that nature. Interesting, no?